Relentless rain means this stretch of the Thames is looking turgid, with a swollen river too risky to row. Army oarsman Stephen Cox has temporarily adapted his training program. The corporal, who races for Zimbabwe, recently qualified for the Paris Olympic Games when he finished fourth at the African Championships in Tunisia. Having accomplished Olympic qualification, he's focused on delivering a medal-winning performance at Paris 2024. Very, very excited. Uh, I can't wait. Um, and I think I've got a lot, a lot of speed to find. Um, earlier in the year, this year, I was going a lot faster than I was at Africa Championships, so I just need to make sure I time it right at the Olympics and I feel like I could cause an upset. Training in the gym and on the water for the biggest sporting event of his life requires dedication and determination. He's grateful to the Army for their unwavering support. My unit has been amazing. Uh, they give me uh, the time. Uh, rowing is a difficult sport to train for. Uh, a daily training, well, a day of training is about five hours. 200 to 250 kilometers of rowing, um, just rowing, <laughs> not including weights or bikes or anything along those lines. Yeah, let's crunch a few other numbers then. You say you're heavyweight. In terms of calories and that sort of thing, how, you know, how, much, how do you refuel yourself? So I try and get a minimum of 5,000 calories in a day. Uh, more in winter, we try to keep a little bit of fat on us just so we don't get sick as much. Um, but I, I genuinely struggle to do it. Uh, sometimes I have to just chuck down chocolate bars <laughs> before bed and wherever I can to keep it in. Stephen is soon to swap the sodden surrounds of his training base at Multi Boat Club for Australia as his preparations intensify. My coach left Molsey to travel to Australia um, and he's got a couple connections over there and he's going to help me out racing. There's a lot of racing in Australia, the national team race, the domestic regattas, so uh, it's very competitive. It's a very demanding sport, you wouldn't do this lightly, you wouldn't sacrifice everything that you have to get to an Olympic Games. Why is it so addictive for you? Uh, it's a question I ask myself every day. <laughs> um, no, when it pays off, uh, it's unlike any feeling I've ever had before. Um, and when you see the reaction in your family and, for example, my wife's face, when you do qualify or it all pays off, um, it's priceless. Olympic qualification for Paris comes after he narrowly missed out on reaching the Tokyo Games in 2021. Following that disappointment, he quit the sport, only for his wife to persuade him to give it another go. My wife, without a doubt, is my foundation in rowing. Um, she's the one that tells me to shake it off and keep going whenever I come home, almost in tears from exhaustion sometimes. Um, and yeah, she's definitely the one that keeps me on track. It's a partnership that seems to be paying dividends then because you have qualified for Paris 2024. Your thoughts then when you realize that you will be going to the games? Um, Along with the excitement, uh, there was more relief than anything. <laughs> when you think about all the sacrifices you made, you've missed weddings, funerals, um, seeing your family, um, and then it all suddenly is worth it. Um, and you're just relieved for everyone around you, all the support you have, the army, um, who've supported me to no end, um, and my wife as well. She was on the bank, luckily, when I was there, so a special moment to share with her. Stephen will continue to make his partner and the Army proud when he competes at Paris 2024. Julian Evans, Forces News, Molsey.